Welcome to Acvis Multibrush, a collection of brushes for enhancing and retouching photos in a variety of ways. Acvis Multibrush is available in a standalone version or as a plug-in for photo editors such as Adobe Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, Corel Paint Shop Pro, and others. Today I'm using the standalone version. Let's start by opening a photo. As you can see, most of the workspace is taken up by the image window. Above the image window is a row of buttons. Press this button to open an image. Press this to save an image. To print the image, press this button. To undo an action made by one of the tools, press this button. Pressing it repeatedly will undo a series of actions. If you change your mind, press this button to redo the action. Pressing this button will bring up information about the program. Pressing this button will open the help files. A browser window will open, displaying pages about the program and how it works. Pressing this button opens the Preferences dialog. The interface's language can be changed here. By checking this, your settings will be remembered each time you start the program. Checking here will keep the History tab aligned with the other tabs. When this is disabled, the History palette may shift within the Settings panel as the size of the program window changes. Pressing this will return settings to their defaults. Actress Multi Brushes Enhancing and Retouching Tools can be found here on the left. On the right is a navigation window which contains a thumbnail of the entire image. This box surrounds the part of the image displayed in the image window. To move the box, bring the cursor inside and with the left mouse button pressed, drag the box. You can do the same thing in the image window by holding down the space bar and scrolling the image with the left mouse button. To scale the image in the image window, you can use the slider, press the plus or minus buttons, or enter a coefficient to the field. The drop-down menu shows frequently used coefficients. Under the navigation window is the settings panel with color, swatches, and history palettes. To open a palette, click on its tab. To change the order of the palettes, Left-click on the tab and drag it with the mouse. Okay, next time we'll take a look at the tools and what they can do.